What's up, YouTube? Some of you have been asking me about my pouring progress, and to be honest, I haven't really been pouring too much. I've been working on another project that I kind of came up with that's been taking up the majority of my time. The other day, I finally came around to finishing up on these pours that I did, and I'll have a follow-up video of the actual pours themselves. The follow-up vid will have these poured and verified on the Sigma Precious Metal Verifier so that it's all in one place. So it's a little different and I'm glad I finally got the time to finish up stamping and polishing them because it's just kind of been sitting around but then again it's kind of fun to look at. So I finally decided to release these into the wild uh, ever since I decided to start promoting my my latest project which happens to be on Reddit as a sub subreddit called R Crypto Bugs. And basically what it is, is a place for stackers who are interested in crypto technology or crypto coins, altcoins, bitcoins, whatever. It's just uh, it's a place where you can ask questions without getting too, too technical and from a stacker's perspective. It's also a place where you can talk about stacking both metal and crypto because to me they're one and the same, just different variations of ultimately currency or a different form of money. I mainly created that sub because purists were getting offended that crypto was invading on stacker space and you know, the folks in the crypto world don't really care about PMs. Whereas there's a lot of people, as stackers especially, who are interested in the technology, but you know, will be shut down by the purists as you know, it's another Ponzi scheme. Even though people are making money and turning that money into additional ounces. But the real thing is that, you know, these purists don't really understand that you can get in and out. They, you follow the market, a lot of the, the stackers are waiting for silver to hit back up to 50 bucks. Well, crypto's already done it. And if you, most people will want to exit out once they hit a certain point, right? So as long as you don't get greedy, you can make money, you can add to the stack, and you can get in, get out. But that's definitely easier said than done, because once you get the taste of quick money, a lot of people tend to feel like it'll never stop, but at some point it does, and you always want to be out before that happens. So taking a moment and going back to stacking, I've made quite a bit from the cryptocurrency, thankfully after keep selling some and keeping most of it. And from there, now I'm able to pick and choose some uh, items with a little bit higher premium that I normally wouldn't buy. But in this case, I always pick these up because I like supporting the forum and these are 100 gram bullion stacker bars. This is, uses the new bullion stacker logo. It's a great forum. I enjoy it a lot. They also have a cryptocurrency forum, so it, it's pretty well-rounded. Uh, some of the guys here are a bit tough, but you know, whatever. It, that's No matter where you go, that's the case. So as you can see, these are made by Jaeger Poured Silver. They, they do it all the time with the bullion stacker. They have a good relationship, and they make all the bullion stacker products. They do this once a year to do some fundraising for the forum, and I'm usually picking them up ever since I've started and joined the forum. Since I found it, I, I have some. And you might have seen them. The other ones were rounds or uh, rollos, and then the one before that, it was a typical 100 gram bar. It's an interesting place with a lot of resources, so uh, I'll continue to support them as long as I'm still stacking. So next up, the, my next pickup is a bit more on my collector side because I'm diversified or that or maybe not because some people don't consider pandas as collectibles because they're brilliant uncirculated and not actually proof which to some means they're not collectibles but anyway we all know what's collectible and what's not and basically it's whatever you like to collect so this is the third edition of Peter Anthony's book who's who's Peter Anthony he's the foremost west facing expert on china panda coins he literally wrote the book on the subject of pandas and he's been around in the panda space for a number of years this is his second edition which i've shown in a previous video when i was first starting to learn about the panda series it's essential to get these books if you're a panda enthusiast and thank you for signing peter anthony and for those of you who are panda collectors or really like pandas, I have a special surprise for you. I'm in the process of arranging an interview with Mr. Peter Anthony. So if you have any questions you'd like me to ask, 
please leave them in the comment below and I'll take your questions and ask them when I go for an interview with him. Just do me a favor and prefix your question with two star stars or two asterisks. So star star space question so that I can find it and I know what you want me to ask for the question. This book is definitely not cheap. It's $58.99, but it comes in a hardback. The print and page quality, though, definitely show where some of the, that money is being spent because I buy a lot of books that are 20, 30 bucks that's just black and white on really cheap paper. This is not cheap paper and it's not cheap ink. It's all color. So you get a really good idea about the, the Panda series from this. And you can take your coin, which I'm going to do a little bit later, uh, to look up the reference. Some of you might also know that I have a pretty extensive Panda collection and pretty much a date set from 1982 to 2016. I haven't continued to 2017 because of the mintage increase and now I'm spending most of my time on cryptocurrencies because I want to be able to make more and I can come back and always purchase these backdated. Even now I'm seeing the prices of uh, the 2017 3 gram start dropping further and further I think I saw one for 149 for BU, which was never the case before. So that tells me that they made too many. One of the biggest differences about the second edition to the third edition is the addition of those Chinese medals. You'll see a lot more medals in the third version that wasn't included in the second version. And Numistacker has a lot of these medals. Uh, personally, I don't deal with them. I, I stick with the BU ones, but. Hey, if they're being recognized officially, then more power to you. So as you can see, I'm pulling up the 2002, and I have the 2002 quarter ounce and the 2003 quarter ounce. And, you know, typically what I would do beforehand is research the coin, check out the mintages, and then go and look to see what I can purchase. So you can just take a look at those two purchase prices and you'd be surprised. Now, I compared this with the second edition, and I was... A little bit surprised he reused the same images well, I'm not really surprised about that but what I am surprised about is the images are actually smaller in the new book because the pages are a little shorter so it's not that big of a deal I mean it's not that big of a difference but when these coins are all about condition it's nice to be able to look at high resolution images so even though the new version has some updated information on some newer coins and metals one of the things I liked about the older edition is that it was a bigger book, so the images were a little bit bigger, and I'm more of a visual guy, uh, but it, it all depends on what you like. Either way, the most important thing isn't the picture itself, but the information that you gather about the coins. So the same thing can be done with any other types of collectible coins that you might be interested in. If you want to see if you can speculate on some some coins otherwise it doesn't really matter like if you have a collection you want to go after this might help you choose the order that you go after them lately I've been talking a lot about crypto and mainly because it's been trending one and then two I'm actually working on a project in crypto which you can see uh, in the link below a link to the uh, the subreddit that I'm on where I'm actually building a new product based on blockchain technology or using blockchain technology. It's not actually based on it. I'm using the lessons that I learned from the last time I did this to do something different and try to simplify things and make it easier than I did the last time because I, I guess last time I made things a bit too complicated. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video and if you like it, hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.